Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're down at the workbench. We're doing a review of this in a box projector. Looks like basically like some kind of cardboard thing you can put your phone into and make it into a projector. Let's go ahead and unbox it, see what it looks like. It's kind of what you see on top. This slides out. Looks like there's some instructions in here. Let's see how the instructions look. So they're all in English, which is a start. Looks like there's basically five steps. Some kind of like lens in here I need to get. So it looks like that's where your phone can go. Here's sort of the lens deal. Let's see. So it looks like there's the lens. You line up here. I don't think it really matters which side of the tube you put it in. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of slowly work it in there. Already getting some fingerprints on it, which I'll probably just clean off later. So I got the lens there. It says to put this O-ring somewhere. Let's see. Okay. So you basically put the O-ring just on the end of it, the same end there. I'm not sure why you do that. So the old the O ring seems pivotal to the operation of this, which is what I'm trying to figure out. Slightly confusing. So I'm not sure if the O ring goes on the outside or the inside. I'm guessing it goes on the inside. That would maybe help prevent it from sliding out. I'm also going to make sure I installed this lens the right way. Which I think I did. You, you want it to be oval up. Which I believe I did. I guess I had a 50-50 shot there. Okay, yeah. Here the O-ring goes on the back. There's supposed to be two O-rings, that's what I'm missing. I'm not sure. Might be missing that other O-ring. Which is okay. For now, at least. I don't think it's gonna be too pivotal pivotal. But that's kind of how you would keep it more secure in there, it looks like, is with the other O-ring. See if we can get this on. There you go. We'll slide this back in. <laughs> that o ring just kind of pops off. So maybe I'll leave this one on the inside. Okay, so we got that. And now we are gonna put a phone in there and turn the lights off and see how it looks. So I have it, I have it projected here on the wall. 
Um, this is a, it looks bigger probably on camera than it is, but obviously you can move it back and make it bigger. Um, the main problem I'm having is I can't get the image upright. Basically the phone flips the image anytime you put it in there. Um, so it's upside down. Uh, so you might be able to download some kind of app that would lock the screen, but um, iPhones only let you lock it so that it doesn't turn from like vertical to horizontal. So once it's in horizontal mode, then you're, uh, you can't really flip it back. So that's probably the main thing that limits this product and the reason I would not buy it is that it flips the image on you. And, but definitely not a serious projector. This is kind of a $20 gimmicky kind of thing. Uh, if you guys got any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Uh, if you enjoy the videos, go ahead and subscribe. I'll catch you all next time.